Okay. Afternoon. Thought I might do a little bit of work on the broadsword and uh, go through the basic drill. So with the broadsword we use, it's normally a fairly heavy broadsword, not a light, whippy one. So this is actually quite substantial in weight. And the reason for that is it's teaching you how to actually move your body to impart some force to the sword and actually forcing you to get behind it rather than being able to wave your arms around with it, as you would be able to do with a lighter sword. It also allows you to, I guess, um, practice moving your body ra around the sword and imagining that it's actually someone, someone's body you're touching. So for example, if you're doing the, the move where you're coming around, your, around the head, you can <coughs> imagine this is a body that you're moving, moving under and it becomes a, a reasonably heavy object with some inertia that your body can move around and then keep going, which you can't really do with a very light, light weapon. So, good to use something heavy. I used to use just a metal, a metal bar before I got a proper sword, uh, but if you can find a, a heavy sword, then that's a much better thing to work with. And obviously, I try not to cut my foot so when I'm swinging around, which is something else you can do with these. So, make sure they're not too sharp, and obviously I always wear shoes when I'm doing it. So with the basic basic drill, just going to start off coming forwards, dropping down, moving around the sword, up, up, down, 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 down. Around and again, 